Hello, everybody, and welcome back to New Hope Tarot, where we will be doing your reading for June 30th. I have meditated upon the cards, and I have pre-shuffled. As always, though, I will shuffle live. Before I get into the meditation, I just want to give a huge thank you for everyone who has um, commented, liked, shared, um, subscribed, and uh, donated to my channel a huge thank you to all of you. Uh, I am grateful beyond words. As I have promised uh, this particular week, well, as of the month of July, I should say, I will be doing the free readings to subscribers who have uh, commented um, to my channel. And... I will be doing one reading a week for that, so check it out, and it's going to be during the daily, so stay tuned. It's going to be one a week, again, one a week, and check it out, see who is going to be the lucky winner of that. It's going to be four lucky winners, and yeah. Yeah, I'm excited for that. I am super, super, super excited for that. So we'll see how that goes. All right, my lovelies. All right, uh, let's get into the meditation. The spirit showed me a dragonfly charm that was spinning. After a while, it did stop spinning. These two cards went to, oh, three cards went to jump out. Um, after it did stop spinning, it stood still, and I was able to confirm that it was a dragonfly. But to me, what that symbolized is the fact that you may be in the midst of a transformation. Perhaps you're not aware of this transformation. Perhaps you feel it's unwarranted or misplaced. Um, maybe some of you don't feel like you deserve this, but needless to say, whether you feel you deserve this or not, it looks like it's, it's happening for you. Okay. Some of you may be going through a lot that you may not be, you may not recognize that you are going through that transformation. All right, this time right now can be a little bit perplexing. Um, so take it how it resonates because I want you to be aware that regardless of your situation, things are changing. I do want to point out that if you are not the one that's transforming, perhaps... I mean, by default, you're transforming, but I feel like there is something that you're doing, something you're involved in that is transforming. So there's going to be some sort of change in whatever realm that is. Okay, so take that how it resonates. All right. Now, and, and again, perhaps you don't see it, but it's there. All right, let's take a look at your cards here. All cards are in reverse. Prince of Cups. Four of Pentacles. King of Wands. I am going to put these this way, though, so we can see them all. I'm going to scoop these down so we have a little bit more space here. And then I'll do the King of Wands here. And again, these were all in reverse, so I want you to be mindful that those are all in reverse, okay? <laughs> oh, spirit, you're funny. So funny. Okay, listen. Four of Pentacles, King of Wands, Prince of Cups. This is really huge energy. The Prince of Cups is the Knight of Cups in this particular deck, okay? So this could be something that you're, okay, so a couple of things. It could be a Knight in Shining Armor. It could be something that you're dreaming about. It could be 
um, you just being patient, but just there's, there's some sort of dream or idea that you are either trying to bring in or make happen either way. With the four of pentacles, it's almost like this is something that you've wanted to happen for a long period of time. It's like you're looking for this long-term security with this Prince of Cups energy. Again, it could be a person, place, or thing. So take it how it resonates. With the King of Wands... It, I just feel like this is either some sort of excitement or you needing to be bold and needing to be a decision maker, okay? Because all of these are in reverse, well, they came out in reverse. Be mindful that it's not, so if you're looking for this, it's obviously not here because it's in reverse, right? If we're looking at the four of pentacles, um, again, it's in reverse. I, I feel like you're trying to make something happen because the four of pentacles right side up may be about um, fear of change, but I don't feel like you fear of change. I feel like you're wanting change. You're searching for change. You're wanting to make something happen but maybe you don't know how. And with the King of Wands in reverse, you need to be bold. You need to take charge. You need to make decisions. All of these are accurate. All of these, uh, again, very, very on point with the Dragonfly Charm spinning, right? I feel like you are in the midst of some sort of transformation. Perhaps, again, you're not aware of it. But I feel like it's coming. I, I, I really do feel like it's coming. Why? Because we have the Magician, the Five of Cups, and the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like this is something that you have manifested a while ago. And with the Five of Cups, you are more focused, perhaps, on the lack of instead of how much something has grown. Okay whether it's behind the scenes, whether it's physical, um, physical uh, changes that you've seen or unseen. Either way, there are changes here. And again, I feel it all has come down. It's, it has stemmed from a some sort of manifestation, some sort of desire that you set forth and you're more focused right now. I feel like it's moving it. There's a lot of work happening, but it's just like you are, you're more focused on the lack than the growth of it, okay? If you are feeling that you want to give up in regards to this, I suggest you do not. <laughs> Yeah. Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Granted, it was in reverse. All right. So I don't, again, I don't feel like you see this coming. Both the High Priestess and the Ten of Cups are in reverse. I don't feel like you see this coming, but it's coming. Some of you feel like it's coming, but you don't. You don't see how, and you know what? You don't need to see how. The how is not important because it's working. As long as you're doing everything that you can do that is within your power and stay in this manifest, uh, manifestation energy, you'll be fine, okay? Keep doing what you're doing and allow the universe to work its magic, okay? We have the Eight of Cups, the Hermit, the Star, Empress, We've already discussed the High Priestess. These are amazing car, you, card, cards. 
you have one, two, three, four, four major arcanas. I mean, well, technically five because we also have the magician here, right? Five out of eight cards. That's 75%. I'm not great at math, so take it for what it's worth, okay? That's pretty spectacular. That's pretty spectacular, okay? I mean, here you are moving forward. Moving forward, there is, I'm telling you, there is, you're on a journey, whether this is your sole purpose journey, whatever this is, I'm telling you, it's coming. You have, see how the a hermit has the star and here's the star. This is something that you've been holding in for quite some time. You've been holding on to this dream for quite some time and it is coming to fruition very, 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 very soon is what I'm seeing. There's a lot of blessings coming your way. I mean, you're going to be fruitful beyond measure. There's some sort of abundance here for sure. You may not see it coming, but it's coming. It's coming. Wow. This is, this is, this is very potent. Very, very potent, you guys. I want you to remain in this energy. Forget this energy. Remain in this, or forget this one. Remain in this energy, the manifestation energy, and focus on the growth, okay? Oh, wow. Did you see how that just happened? Here's your Knight of Cups again. Again, either a dream or a knight in training armor. Oh, it's been a lot of hard work, but you're going to succeed. All right. This is winning after a lot of hard work. And that's what this is. That's what I've been saying. You'll be fine. Just stay confident. Just stay confident. All right, Cancer, let's get judgment. Do, do Are you seeing how these cards are just flopping out? Energies are wild right now. All right. Cancer. Ace of Swords. I'm liking this. Gentle Gardener. Romantic Feelings. And Coyote Spirit. Listen. Listen, you guys. Cancer. Whatever new communication, whatever action plan you have, although it's taken some time, it is about to hatch. It's growing and growing. I really, really, really like this. Again, whether this is a person, place, or thing, you know, that place that into your life situation as you see fit, because I'm telling you, even though it's taken some time, trust that it is happening. Trust that it is happening because it's coming. But you have to stay very clear about where you're going, what you're wanting. You have to stay very determined, very strong in yourself. Be very wise about the words you choose to say to yourself. Although the transformation isn't here yet, although the transformation isn't here yet, it's happening. And I told you, you are in the midst of transformation. It's what I said with the dragonfly, specifically because it is spinning. Okay. We have two aces, which if you are asking a question, the answer is yes. Okay. Whatever question that is, the answer is yes, as long as it's a yes or no question, right? with the fool in reverse, sometimes you have to, I, I, 
I feel like this is a new beginning. Um, but I feel like those baby steps have been vital is really what I'm getting from this full in reverse. It's like the, they're baby steps. You don't see this. You don't see this transformation. You don't see how strong you're going to be. And, oh, okay. It was, it was with this. And we have one, two, three, three major arcanas in your reading. That's potent. We have two aces, three major arcanas and a wish fulfillment. Like this is a dream come true. This is not a wish fulfillment because a wish fulfillment would be the nine of cups, but this is you actually obtaining it. These 10 of cups are actually on the ground and they are in flow. Right? I, I really like this. This is an absolute yes. This is again, this is a whole lot of newness right here. There's this transformation. You're about to get into that. Um, that transformation with the strength, you're going to need, I'm just going to point this out, you're about to be some sort of influencer or you are about to um, need a sense of courage and, and really dig deep because this change is going to be very big for you, a very, 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 very big change. All right, Cancer, this is a very big change for you. I'm not really sure what that change is for you. I do see that there's a lot of growth, though. You're going to have to make some sort of decision here. Okay? Some sort of decision here. Right? Whether that it entails traveling or uh, some sort of choice regarding traveling or uh, moving to, to another state or business, whatever this is, relocation, there, there's some sort of change here for you that is going to be quite vital for you, Cancer. All right, Leo. Page of Coins. Stuck in the mud, calling in your soulmate and panther spirit. All right. With the page of coins, Leo, I feel like you have been incredibly patient throughout a time where there has been little to no movement in particularly in regards to perhaps uh, something that it doesn't, this doesn't necessarily mean a soul mate. It could for sure, but it could be whatever has been in your heart's desires, whatever has been, you've been uh, trying to call in. And I feel like there's some, there's a shift here that's happening. And I feel like it's going to happen rather quickly. Leo, we go from 24 to 44 like that. All right. It's like a big jump. And you are, number one, you are going to be very in tune with yourself. You may already feel the energies are stirring. But I feel like this is very, very very empowering uh, energy. I don't feel like you, even though you've been wanting this, I don't feel that you are expecting the, the jump. I just, I don't feel like you're, you are expecting it. All right. We have the eight of swords in reverse, nine of pentacles, nine of pentacles in reverse and four of wands in reverse. Okay. Wow. 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 Okay. You may have already 
broken out of any self-restricting energies, wh wh whether it's your of your own making or of somebody else's making. Either way, I feel like you broke out of that. If there was some sort of bond that kept you held back, I feel like you broke out of that. I like all of these pentacles here, even though the nine of pentacles and the 10 of pentacles are in reverse. I actually feel like this is really, really, really great energy. All right. I like the fact that you um, stay focused and pragmatic and then you stay patient and, and continue to do the work despite of all the challenges that have, may have been in your way with the nine of pentacles and the tent of uh, tent, the 10 of pentacles. It's, it's like, it's like you are really focused on you claiming your independence, claiming your stake here in the world, whatever it is you've been building towards, it's like you want to make your mark on the world. Not for anybody else, but for your own sake, truly. And even though you have yet made it, it's soon coming. I do feel like it is soon coming. You have been feeling like this has been a long time coming. You have been feeling like you've been held back. You may have felt like you've been under somebody else's thumb. But I feel like you are breaking out of that. You're completely breaking out of that. Because of this specifically. And I feel like you're just trucking along saying, I don't care what is in my way. Because this is the only one that's straight up. I don't care what's in my way. I'm going to make this happen period. And I like that. I like that very much because that means that you have truly dedicated your energies to accomplish this. Regardless of whatever's been happening, you have reclaimed your power. You've reclaimed your strength. You have showed everybody, even though this is not a lion, it is a panther. Um, I just feel like you've shown everybody who the hell Leo is and brava, brava, good for you, Virgo, 10 of coins in reverse, coming to life, trust, butterfly spirit, all right. Much like the butter, or not the butterfly, the dragonfly that I saw in my mind's eye, I said there is transformation that's happening, and I do feel, okay, so a couple of things. I already feel like you've gone through some sort of metamorphosis, but I feel like there's more changes that are happening. Um, and I really like that. I really, 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 really like that. I feel that you have been in a state where either you have not been working or you ha you have not you have not made the amount of money you feel that you should make. Perhaps something has happened where. Not necessarily that it's been a burden, but I almost feel with this 10 of coins in reverse, I feel like there is a, like something has happened where it made you either use up your finances or your, it's almost like you're, because I'm seeing pennies go through the cracks. They're not dollars, they're pennies. So maybe you're, saving your, your your savings are depleting a little bit at a time and perhaps you're trying to work on something to make it happen 
so that you're not having to deplete your finances. Needless to say, whatever that is, whatever that situation is, things are really changing. And we have coming to life and we have transformation. This is very big changes that are happening. Uh, 29 is number 11. We have 11, 11. Uh, that we have a soulmate here, I feel. Um, and speaking of, we here's another butterfly with temperance. Um, if there is a soulmate that's coming, a soul purpose. Um, I do feel like a soulmate. Uh, there is a lot of balance here. There is a beautiful connection. You have to trust that something is definitely calling. Uh, being called in for you. You have to trust that it's 100% going to happen. And I, I really, really like that. I feel like you're very, very close to this happening. I feel like you've been close and slowly inching towards this since last year. But I feel like there has uh, a lot of healing needed to take place in order for that to truly happen. Okay. Those two came out together, so. Four of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Pour into yourself. This is going to, this is going to happen. Okay, we have the Ten of uh, Coins and the Ten of Cups. I like these two together. There's endings. I mean, remember I said transformation. We have transformation twice. Well, technically three times because of the dragonfly, right? But then we have the end of cycles, okay? Although, although you may have feel or felt, either you currently feel or have felt that you've had to really, really protect your energies or protect your resources. It's almost like you're saying, I need to make this happen in whatever way, shape or form. Because with this judgment, it's like you've decided, you decided that the natural motion of going forward is to possibly not be afraid to take a chance, not be afraid to make changes. And although you may have felt that it has been a tricky call for you to make because Again, perhaps you you may be trinkling, like your money may be trinkling away, you know, like you know, like the coins are just kind of slipping away. You're saying, I'm it's I feel like this is worth doing because I'm investing in myself. It's almost like that's what I'm getting, like I'm investing in myself. And good for you, you should invest in yourself. With the king of pentacles and the page of cups. I really like this uh, page of cups. I feel like this is sweet, romantic. And I feel like this king of, like perhaps you're the one that's sweet and romantic. And this king of pentacles is the person that needs to come in, male, female, it doesn't matter. You can swap genders or same gender. I don't, it doesn't matter. There's no gender specifics here. If this could, I am going to point out, this could just be you going, I'm going to make something work. I may not have the experience, but I'm going to have the experience. And this could be uh, you as well saying, I can make this happen. I may not have the experience, but I can make something happen. This can also be, and this could be a 50-50 energy here. This can also be you saying, all right, I'm waiting for somebody to come in. And this king of pentacles, 
if this is somebody that you're waiting for, is actually going to help you in a lot of different areas in your life. And I really, really like that for you, Virgo. I do feel like this is a dream come true, something that you're going to obtain. And with the hermit, it's like, I almost getting that once you've reached the end of your cycle, you get everything that you are in need of everything that you're wanting. That's not what the hermit means at all, but that's what I'm hearing. I do want one more card here. Whoop, 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 whoop. I do want one more card here. No. Ah! Okay. A couple of cards jumped out and the everything else came upside down, but these two fell right side up. Okay. We have the page of pentacles and the ace of swords. I do feel like new communication is for sure coming in. Stay patient. Stay patient. If this king of pentacles might be your age. Okay. They might be your age, but I like how, how sweet this is. I do, I do feel like there is going to be a lot of communication. You guys might be, if this is a person, um, there might be distance, um, or I could just see the distance because you haven't met yet. But I feel like there is some sort of distance. I like the happiness here. Not only that, if this is a job opportunity where you can um, really build yourself, right? Build your way up. I do feel that this is a chance for you to really branch out in a lot of different avenues. So either... Your clients are from afar, or perhaps you will be moving, relocating uh, to a different location in order to make something happen. Your job may entail um, a communication of some sort, all right, or some sort of advice, um, something, all right? So take it how it resonates, Virgo. Libra, the hangman, spark, unrequited love, groundhog spirit. All right, Libra. Libra. All right, Libra, what I'm actually getting is the fact that you have taken some time out in regards to you really taking a step back and finding out what the heck is going on with this unrequited love situation that you had going on. And after you, um, you know what, I'm not even getting after you figured it out while you were figuring this out, a new spark happened. And you said, you know what? I'm going to let this go. All right. I'm also getting for some of you that it may be time to let go of an unrequited love because something new is about to spark your interest. Okay. You may be in some sort of transition at this moment.
Yeah. We have the Seven of Cups in reverse. You may have clarity of mind about a situation. What I'm getting here, my dear Libras, is the fact that For some of you, you need to step up your boundary games, right? Where you have to set up a better uh, set of rules for those around you and say, this is, this is where I draw the line. Please respect it. For others, I'm getting the sense that you have already set that boundary. You've already advised everybody, listen. These are my expectations. I, I have no patience for, for anybody who is disrespectful towards me. Okay. I feel like you have gone through a lot lately where it has given you the ability to stay calm within and enter within like not necessarily calamity, but like it, any situation that may have made you kind of shift in your chair and make you uncomfortable. I feel like you're saying, I'm not messing with this. I'm gonna stay calm. I'm gonna keep my boundaries firm. Even if this seven of wands is in reverse, I'm still getting, it's like you, it's like you have an internal, uh, an, an internal, checkpoint where you're like, okay, that's going to be a trigger for me. So I need to just put my defenses up. I don't feel like you verbally say it, but I feel like you are mentally aware of it and you go, that's all right. That's all right. Yes. I feel the pricklies, but I am going to stay calm in this situation because I'm not going to let anybody throw me off kilter here. And I like that. I actually like that a lot. And I feel like that energy has, is, is there's, there's a lot of changes that's going on within, within yourself and within your surroundings, because I do feel like you are letting go of a lot. I feel like you have let go of an unrequited love energy, something that, and it doesn't necessarily have to be love. It could be something that maybe you felt you liked, but maybe now you just don't like it as much. I right? perhaps you had a job and that job was, it was fine. You know, it gave you, it, it gave you lessons. It gave you the ability to learn a lot of different things, but then one day you just kind of wake and go, yeah, it, I, I, is it worth it? I'm not, I don't, I'm not really feeling this anymore. And I feel like there's a lot of changes that are happening within you. This death card specifically in reverse has shown up in a couple of the readings already. And I'm only four deep. I feel like you're truly given, giving to yourself and finding your balance. It's, it's, it's like you are saying, I am who I am. I'm going to stay as patient as I possibly can. I am going to try to make the best out of a situation as best that I can. And if I cannot, I will just walk away. I like this. I like this a lot for you. Yeah. 
I like this a lot for you. There's a lot of growth still happening. If this bottom part has yet happened, it's it's in the midst of happening. Again, back to that dragonfly charm that was spinning. You know, there's there's changes. You may not see the changes, but there are changes. We have the seven of cups in reverse, golden palace, new love. and dog spirit all right Scorpio this is really great I like the fact that you're showing up very clear-minded um where as before you may have been a little bit perplexed about what to do where to go um, but I feel like you're focused on you at this moment you're saying I know what I want I don't care what other people want about me or for me. I know what I want. I'm clear about what I want. This it's X, Y, Z, whatever this is. And I, I really, really like that for you because I feel like you have finally found some sort of safe place for you to go to within yourself, truly. Um, where you're able to say, yeah, I, I can do this. I'm able to create my safe space. I don't need somebody to create my safe space. But if someone wants to join me in my safe space and they're able to contribute to it, then absolutely. Again, I, I it's like I'm getting the sense that you're you're saying, I don't mind being alone. I also don't mind being in a relationship. I don't mind having this job, but I'm also not okay with having a job that does not suit me. Whatever this looks like for you, um, I, I, it's like you're saying, I'd rather be alone than bad company, okay? And I feel like this new love is a new love of self of a new love of self where you're like, no, I'm, I'm worthy of more and I will not compromise for something that is close. So I rather stay up in my golden palace waiting for the right thing to come in. And this dog spirit is showing up. Say, stay loyal to that. I really like that. Stay loyal to that. This death card has been showing up in so many readings. One more, please. Thank you. Yeah. I do feel like you have walked away from something, a, a situation or whatever this is that made you feel that Either it made you feel abandoned or it made you question yourself and made you frustrated or unloved or whatever this is. Um, but I feel, again, I feel like you're saying, I choose me. I'm going to be loyal to myself. I've already felt unloved. Now I love me. And until the right thing comes in, I won't, again, I'm just getting, I won't compromise. I just won't. I will not compromise. But with this Ace of Wands, I do feel like a new love is going to come in. Although this is a new love of self, I feel like that new love of self is going to bring a new, a new love. Okay. There's, there's a sense of renewal energy here that I really, really, really like. It's like there's a rebirth. You go from death to the sun. I mean, this is huge. I really love the fact that we have these right here. And not only that, we have the Knight of Pentacles and the King of Cups. Although they're both in reverse, I just feel like this is something that has yet been met. I feel like um, 
there's somebody who is focused and practical and then also somebody who is incredibly um, strong and empathetic here. Whether both of these are you or one is you and one is the other person, take it how it resonates. But I do love this energy as a couple. It's very steady, very secure energy. I'm gonna, I do want one more card though. Um, let me see what we have here. Yeah, three of cups. It's a celebration. It may have come after a time where you've gone through some difficulties, but in the end you succeed, right? This is like the wounded warrior card where you've gone through so much, but still there's some sort of victory here, even after going through everything that you've gone through. And I really, really like this. I really like this. This is a celebration through all of everything that you've been going through. There is a celebration. And I feel like this that's the celebration of the union of these two people. All right. Whether it's a union of two people or a union of... Um, your soul job, your soul um, tribe, but I do feel like it is a person, okay? So take it how it resonates, Scorpio. Sagittarius, page of wands, movement, honeymoon, lizard spirit. Right, Sag, I really do get the fact that you're calling in someone's attention energetically. I don't feel like they actually have eyes on you, but I feel energetically they're moving towards you. Because I'm seeing here both, I mean, I'm seeing movement towards you. There's movement here and there's movement here. So I feel like someone is headed your way or something is headed your way. Whatever that dream is, it really connects with this up here very much. So whatever this dream may be, there is there's changes that are happening that I feel like the universe is making happen here we have number 28 which is the number 10 which is about the end of a cycle for a, for a new one to come in and with that dragonfly charm that was spinning again you are in the midst of some sort of transformation either you yourself or this situation is in the midst of coming. I, I feel like there's a collision here of, because I feel like you're coming here, this person's coming here. I feel like there's a collision here in, in, in a very good, 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 good way. In a very good way. Oh, that came out. Okay. King of swords in reverse. Three of cups in reverse. Queen of Cups in reverse, Four of Pentacles in reverse, and a Hangman. Yeah, the Four of Wands in reverse. I'm telling you, this situation is about to freaking happen. Let go of any outcomes. This is all going to happen, okay? This is all going to happen. Stay patient. Stay patient. It's, it's on its way. I really love that we have somebody that loves words. We have the Page of Swords and the King of Swords. There is somebody here that 
is really great with words, whether it's you or the other person. There's going to be some sort of celebration here. Even if you feel that you don't want to go out and celebrate or, or go out and meet friends for lunch or brunch or whatever, please go do it. It's going to be very, very vital for you during this time for you to really get a good hold of yourself and not overthink and go celebrate, okay? Because you're, whomever this is, whether you're the king and they're the queen or vice versa, you know, I, I don't attach gender to my reading. So whomever this is, it's going to be somebody loving and somebody that is great with words. I really, really like this. This could be you. This could be them. This could be both of you. I really like the fact that, remember I said, like, what did I say here with this page of swords? Um, it's like you are calling, what did I say? Calling somebody in. I don't remember what I said, but I, I do, I do feel like you're calling somebody in. And with this King of Swords, you see how very focused this King of Swords is. I feel like you have caught somebody's eye here. And I feel like they start, uh, oh, energetically. That's what I said. You've caught somebody. I like the mirror image here. I really do. I really, 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 really like this. And I like that we have water and water here. Where you're drawing. I really do feel like you're drawn to them as much as they are to you. But I don't feel that you have met yet at all. I'm not getting the sense that either one of you have met I just feel like whatever this is, both of you may feel that they're, you may feel like afraid of change or afraid of making the leap, but some of you may have to let go of that. So if you are, if this is something that you're wanting, you're going to have to let go of that energy. Okay? You're you're going to have to let go of that energy. I want one more card, please. One more card. Go forward with boldness. Be bold. All right? None of this do I deserve it? Do I not deserve it? Oh, okay. Page of Wands and Knight of Wands. Spirit is saying, although both of you may feel um, a little bit timid in taking a chance on something, both of you are going to do it. Both of you are going to do it. Okay? Someone is slightly younger than the other. We have a Page of Wands and the Knight of Wands, practically the same age, but there's slight uh, either it's in age or in experience, okay? So take that how it resonates, Sagittarius. All right. Let's see, Capricorn. Ace of Wands in reverse. Compass, codependency, armadillo, okay. All right, for some of you, I'm really getting the sense that... You're wanting something new in your life, but it, it's been a bit dull for some time, whatever that looks like for you. And you're trying to navigate your way through this particular situation in order for you to really come out of it above water.
it's almost here. I'm not necessarily getting a codependency issue with someone else in your life. Um, perhaps this is more of a job situation. It could be, it could be, you know, a partner for sure or family, but I'm the strongest sense that I'm getting is a job where you're like, okay, I need, I need to make X amount of money in order for me to really thrive in my life. Right? So for instance, this could be, I'm really trying to make more money, but I'm not really seeing a way out. How do I navigate around having a job that I'm not overly joyed with in order for me to try to make the amount of money that I want or I desire or I deserve or fill in the blank, whatever that or is for you, all right? But you have to set some boundaries. If that's something that you're wanting to do, you need to set some boundaries. Okay, if you work nine to five, how much time are you really committing to whatever this is so that you can break out of this situation? Okay. What does that look like for you? If you're looking for new love, right? And you're kind of set um, and you don't really see any action whatsoever. You can't just sit around at home, right? And wait for somebody, you know, some Pizza Hut guy to come and knock at your door and go, oh my gosh, you're the love of my life, Capricorn. I can't believe I found you by delivering pizza. No, all right? You have to set healthy boundaries. That means if you're not a big fan of going out or swiping left or right, you still have to make time to go and do some of those things. You have to get a little bit vulnerable, right, in order for you to make something happen here, All right? Because even though things are in motion and transformation is happening, it can't occur if you're just sitting at home, not doing much of anything. Okay. Yeah. You have the ace of wands twice. Yeah. You have the page of pentacles and the nine of pentacles. If you're trying to bring in somebody to you, whether this is love or this is um, a job, right? Look at these two pentacles staring at one another. If it's love, you don't know one another yet, all right? If it's a job, it has, hap it has yet happened yet. You need to remain focused and you need to be clear minded in regards to a situation. Okay. Whatever this is, you need to, you need to balance the two different energies, right? Regardless whether it's, um, staying at home and going out, right? Start staying in a job, starting something new. Okay, whatever, whatever that looks like, there needs to be balance in regards to both, period. You can't do one without the other. There needs to be a, um, I don't want to say a marriage of both, but a, a compromise of both in order for this to really work out in your favor with this justice in reverse. Because if you don't marry the two, it will remain not plausible, okay? If you stay at home and stay thinking, well, it's never going to happen. Well, it's not going to happen, okay? But if you decide, okay, I'm still going to go out. I am going to set some healthy boundaries, but I am going to go out because I, I that's the direction I really want to take my life in. And yes, although it's it's scary, 
I, I am going to put myself out there. And yeah, you might need some bozos for sure. You might need some bozos. You know, you might need some dead end jobs. That's true. But you can't get to this Ace of Wands energy without going through making the hard decision of trying, of going through it and recognizing that there's going to be some pitfalls along the way. Not everything is smooth sailing. But you have to end this vicious cycle. Whether it's the vicious cycle of your thoughts or whether it's you just sitting there going, I can't, do, I, I'm, I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to do anything. I can't do anything because of X, Y, Z. If you remain in this energy, Capricorn, you're not going to go anywhere. And if that's what you want, feel free to continue doing it. Okay? Feel free. But if you are wanting to move forward, take action and set healthy boundaries so that when you go out, you are protected but you also allow potential good new energies in. But in order to do that, you have to end the cycle. So you have to decide, Capricorn, what are you doing? Where are you going? What direction are you headed? And will you take the leap? Can you make it happen? Can you? I think you can Capricorn, but I don't know. Only you can prevent forest fires. Sorry. <laughs> Only you can make it happen. All right. Aquarius. We have commitment, engagement, and now is a lucky time. Well, hell yeah. Look at you, Aquarius. We have the Three of Swords in reverse, commitment, engagement, and now is lucky time. Listen, Aquarius, if you're in a relationship right now, uh, I feel like you've already, or if you're not in a relationship and, and are wanting to get into a relationship, if you've already healed from your past wounds, then hurrah for you because that's exactly the kind of energy you need to um you need to be in in order to commit and have a higher level of commitment. If you are already in a commitment, that means that you've already done the healing. I, if, if you've already done the healing, I feel like you've done most of the healing by yourself and then your new partner has assisted in, in that energy quite a lot. Look at these cards that just flipped over. Holy cow. So again, if you are in a committed relationship, you're about to level up your, um, your relationship. If you are not looking to get pregnant, please be careful. Um, because the rabbit can be about, um, getting pregnant. So just be mindful of that. All right. But I do feel like this is a, this is time for, for big changes to be happening here. It's like there's an end of something and a beginning of something else with a lot of changes that are occurring all at the same time or in incremental um, bits and pieces here, because I, I really, 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 really like this. The, there's there's a lot of um, happiness here, a lot of happiness here, and I really like this for you. What is happening, Aquarius? Wow! One, two, three, four, four major arcanas. Head of Cups at the bottom of the deck, even if it is in reverse, with the Knight of Cups in reverse. It, you know, the Knight of Cups is definitely someone who's committed. If you felt that this person was not committed, you're wrong. 
this person is committed. They may have been fearful of, or, you know, or, or, or fearing the commitment. But if you have not pressured them, I feel like that has set them very much at ease. Aquarius, and I feel like that was truly a, a big shift for them. With the Emperor in reverse, it's, I'm getting a very relaxed energy here. Um, it's like you feel very relaxed around this person or around this situation. I don't, I don't feel like you see this coming. I feel like this, I feel like you're going to be surprised, um, if you are getting engaged because you don't feel like this person is committed, but I feel like they, they're going to surprise you. I do. Um, and it's funny how we have the engagement and I love looking at this world card because even though the acorn is here, I love that the moon looks like a diamond. I love that. I, I really do feel like you're going to be in shock here when this happens. I, I don't, I, I feel like this person is incredibly focused. I feel like this person is going to shock you. Because I feel like they are bound and determined to create a very magical moment for you. I feel like they have really stepped up their game to really impress you, Aquarius. Lucky you. Lucky you because I, I just feel like everything that you have worked for Everything that you have done, like this is just a natural shift of life that you've been wanting, but you were afraid that was not going to come from a person in where, that you thought was not necessarily romantic or committed. And I feel like this person is going to really shock you. Maybe this person is more logical than romantic, but I feel like this person is really, really, really going to surprise you. I really like this for you, Aquarius. How sweet is that? How incredibly sweet is that? All right. Pisces. I don't know why I thought I pulled two cards. Five of Swords, Rock Bottom, Children, Pig Spirit. All right, Pisces, if you've been going through a A very difficult time in regards to in your life whether this is um, financially or or in regards to a past person we have the lovers here and we have the knight of cops I evenly cut this uh, deck and that's what came out you definitely have a choice to make here with this lover's card. And you need to give back to yourself because a past situation has really left you all the way down here towards, you know, rock bottom. But I feel that whatever situation that was, not only affected you, may have affected your children, right? You may have been dealing with somebody who behaved like a child and you may have had to walk away from a situation like that. 
and you may have been um, thinking, I, I can't, I can't get myself out of this. I, I'll get, I'll get myself out of this when pigs fly. But if you use your mind wisely, I feel like you're going to prove to others that you can make anything happen. Because they may think they may be thinking, yeah, they'll they'll do this when pigs fly, you know, and you may be saying, all right, all right, I'm going to show you that I can get out of this situation. Because I feel like you're saying. I am not going to claim defeat here. I'm not going to do it again. I'm going to rise to the occasion, pull myself out of whatever this rock bottom is for you. And I'm going to prove to my children that anything can happen. And I will prove others wrong. Even if that means you have to penny pinch for a while here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Five of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. People are expecting you for you to go, oh, woe is me, woe is me, you know, because you may not have a lot, all right? Maybe, you know, you fall bankruptcy. Maybe you are in some sort of uh, situation where Maybe a partner has left you without. Maybe you lost a job. Whatever that is, you're figuring it out to pull yourself out of this situation. I like this page of swords here for you because it's in reverse. And what I'm getting here is the fact that you're keeping prying eyes away from your energy. You are protecting your energies. You're not showing everybody the actual difficulties you may be going through. It's like you're saying to them, you can be curious all you want. You can wonder all you want, but you're not going to be privy to my life. I'm going to do everything I possibly can in order to secure my long-term security, and you do obtain your long-term security. Granted, it isn't going to happen in one day. It will happen a bit at a time, all right? I feel like the month of July and August are going to be huge months for you to catapult your way out of this, okay? I'm not saying you're going to get out of it completely during those months, but I feel like those months are going to be very, very potent for you. Okay, very potent for you. Not only do I feel that you're going to be ultimately very balanced moving forward after this particular situation gets settled, I feel like you're going to be in a much better energy to highlight your capabilities, your skills, your quality. I feel like people, the people that have underestimated you are going to be celebrating you and go, wow. I didn't realize that Pisces was able to do this and this and this and this. You know, it, it, it's like if you, 
if you're in a situation where, you know, you're in a, a, you know, you can only purchase a really rundown home, right? And they're like, oh my gosh, they, this person, you know, Pisces really bit off more than you can, more than they can chew. And you're saying, I'm capable of doing whatever the hell it is I want. After you saving money, right? After you save money and you put down payment on a home. And even if it isn't the most expensive home, it's still yours. It belongs to you. I feel like you've learned so much and you have gained a lot of knowledge, a lot of wisdom in, a, in, in all of the situations. Again, you're going to be celebrating at your own abilities. You're going to be so strong, so balanced. I'm almost getting the strength card here and Empress energy. I know that neither one are here, but that's what I'm getting here. That you're saying, I'm going to be able to fix things up. I'm going to be able to patch things up with minimal amount of money. Obviously, things that are like major things, you know, you'll save money for those things. But like the minor things... I feel like you're capable of handling it and handling, handling it super, super well, super, super well. And I feel that you're going to really appreciate everything that you've gone through and go, I have built everything that I have from the ground up. I really like this, Pisces. I really like this. I want one more card, please. Just one more card. What did I say? What did I say? You're going to come out of it completely balanced. Even if you are on a tight budget for a long time, right? And when I say long, you know, long is, that that's just a word. Long for you might not be long for somebody else, right? Long for somebody might be two months. You know, long for somebody else might be two, three years, right? It might be a decade. But you're going to see with this two of pentacles that not only... Will you be able to do everything else because of everything that you've gone through? You're going to be like, I got this. I have this. I'm capable. Where other people are going to be looking at you and say, how did Pisces manage that? And it's because you worked your ass off. You, you, came from the bottom up because you were bound and determined to do it and you did wow wow Pisces we have the full four Aries bone collector true love otter spirit All right, with the full and reverse. Um, what I'm really getting here with this full and reverse is the fact that you still don't mind taking a leap in faith or in a situation, but before you do, you're going to do some sort of research. You're going to meditate. You're going to go, okay, what is my best course of action before I take this leap? You know, it's like you're drawing diagrams and you're like, okay, if I do this, then this will happen. If I do this, then this will happen because you're want, you're wanting to assure yourself of the potential outcome and I, I really I really 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 like that
I don't necessarily feel like this is um, about an actual love interest, but we'll get some clarifiers here just to verify. I What I'm really getting with this particular card is the fact that you're trusting yourself. You're trusting your capabilities. If you have an intuitive hit to go do something, you're saying, okay, I'll take that information, but let me do some research. And I feel with these two cards, it's almost like they're saying the same. You're never alone. I feel like spirit is always with you. I feel like you have good people around you. And there has been a bond that you have been growing towards with yourself where maybe you weren't trusting yourself as much before, but you've learned how to start trusting yourself more and more Aries where before you would just take a leap and you go, okay, I still want to take the leap, but I'm going to do a little bit more research, right? And the reason why you do this is because there has been a bond that you started growing with yourself because perhaps before you would just take a leap and then, you know, you may have faltered, but now you're saying, I still trust myself. I still want to take that leap, but I don't want to falter. So you've grown, you've grown this beautiful bond within yourself where you've said, where you've done a lot of work to start trusting your instincts much, much better. And it's not just your instincts. It's like you're trusting your guides as much as you are yourself. It's like now before you just go and do, you you, you get your intuitive hit and you really meditate upon it and go, and find out what spirit has to say about it, what you have to say with it, about it. And then you, it's almost like you collaborate together to decide what is the best course of action for yourself. Wow. Okay, this definitely could be a, yeah. We have the tower at the bottom of the deck. Something may be happening. It's happening slowly, but it, it is happening. Um, there may be, again, back to that dragonfly um, charm that was spinning. There, there may You may be in the midst of transformation, but you may not be aware of it. So there may be stuff that's happening in the background, my dear Aries. Even with this Eight of Swords, I'm not even concerned about this Eight of Swords, truly. But I do want to make sure that you don't put yourself in any um, any situation that makes you feel helpless or too complicated. Okay. It, look, we have the Queen of Cups and the Knight of Cups. This could be a knight in shining armor. Not only that, we also have the Page of Cups, which is all very interesting. And the right smack in the middle, we have the uh, Wheel of Fortune. Super, super, super interesting. Um, I feel like you're 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 feeling incredibly happy, incredibly full of energy and. It's almost like there is this healthy sense of self where, you, as a matter of fact, I just noticed it. Look at, there's like a healthy sense of self where, again, you, you feel something, but you, there's a union between you and spirit. Again, where you collaborate with spirit, you meditate, you go out into nature and you ponder but you don't really think it's not like you're when you're pondering you're using thoughts it's like you just 
ask your, you ask a question, you let it out to the universe and you're just walking and then the answer, and then you clear your mind and then the answer comes. I hope that makes sense because that's what I'm getting here. If it does drop a comment, but it's like, Whatever this is, whether it's a person, place, or thing, okay, you're trusting that the universe and you are collaborating in order for this to happen, okay? And I feel like this is happening because you have this new bond with yourself and a deeper connection with yourself and spirit. And because of it, it's happening. This is faded. But it's coming now because the union with self is solid. All these cups are in reverse. I find this very interesting. All the cups are in reverse. I feel like internally you're feeling quite romantic. You may not be showing that in the external world, but I feel like the internal world, you're feeling quite romantic. There, I, I, again, I just don't feel like you are you're not in the situation yet. Not necessarily that there is any restrictions that you're placing on yourself. That's not what I'm getting here. It's, it's like I'm getting the fact that don't place yourself in a situation where you feel helpless, right? I don't feel like you're saying, oh, oh no, um, I'm, I'm not with somebody, so woe is me. I don't have somebody in my life, right? It isn't like that. It's more like, It's almost like you are focused on one certain outcome. In regards to possibly this situation, or you may be thinking, oh, okay. Hold on. I want to make sure that I'm verbalizing this properly. So I'm asking spirit, how do I verbalize this um, properly for you, Aries? It's almost like you are not feeling trapped or you don't want to feel trapped or catch yourself in a situation where you may have had in the past and you're so focused on it being a good result because you've gone through several results where they may not have been the best. So now you're more focused on, I'm only going to accept a good result. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. I can't come up with another way to verbalize this, Aries. So if you can come up with something better, please go ahead and leave it in the comments. Um, so I hope that makes sense. So for instance, maybe perhaps you were in a previous relationship and maybe yourself, maybe you place yourself in a situation because you didn't, in, in a situation that was not of the most, um, maybe, you know, your safety may have been compromised or, or something to that extent because you, you acted without thinking right? But now because there's this beautiful union between your spirit and your soul that now you're like, yes, I do want love, but I won't place myself in this 
situation anymore. I will still take leaps, but they are leaps that are thought out. And if I think of them, if, if, if I think of them before I do them, I won't have such a dangerous situation as an outcome. Okay, so I hope that makes sense, Aries. But I do feel like somebody or a situation for you is coming your way. Okay. Taurus, wow. Wow, Taurus. Queen of Coins, Wizard of Awareness, worth waiting for, Peacock Spirit. I mean, wow, Taurus, this is, this is potent stuff here. With this Queen of Pentacles here, I feel like you may be somebody who is incredibly generous and or accomplished or both. I don't know. Um, but I feel like you, st if you're looking at both of the Queen of Coins and the Wizard of Awareness, there's something that's missing here, right? Even though you may be accomplished or somebody that has some money, I still feel like there is something that you are lacking and that could be in the love department. And if you've been single for quite some time, this is somebody that is certainly worth waiting for. And I feel that when you see them, whomever that is, whether it's male or female, you're going to call their attention. But I feel like you're going to call their attention in a subtle, cocky way. I hope that makes sense. I feel like your voice has a lot to do with this. Uh, your voice or your words has a lot to do with this. That might be how you actually attract this person in. Um, oh, and as I say those words, here's the world card. Because for as very very relaxed and confident you are, I'm actually getting a bit of nervous energy from this peacock. It's it's almost like you're <laughs> almost like you're shaking a little bit. There, there's a nervousness about you here. It's almost like you recognize them for being the one and you're nervous about that. Even though you've been waiting for this for quite some time, maybe you're just nervous because you, know, you haven't been with somebody in a long time. Maybe you haven't done the dating game. Um, in in a while, but I, I'm I'm seeing I'm seeing nervous here. I'm seeing a lot of nervousness. I I'm seeing that the throat, uh, not the throat. That's the heart chakra. Uh, but I, I, the heart chakra is oh, kind of lit up. But I'm I'm drawn to the blue, which is the throat chakra. And I feel like there is something about your voice or about your, um, or about your words that really attracts this person in. Like they, it, you draw them in by that. I, I don't, I hope that makes sense. Wow. 
Yeah, brand spanking new. Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck in reverse. If you're worried about gossiping or, or things of that nature, uh, I really would I really wouldn't be worried about that. Uh, I feel like this person is a no drama kind of person. Um, I feel like this person has a keen eye. I feel like this person will be drawn to you. There's going to be a lot of communication. It's definitely coming your way. There's a lot of communication back and forth. I feel like this person is, I feel like this is both you and the other person. There's, there's a lot of attraction here. I really like the attraction. I really like the, you know, I, I, okay, so a couple of different things. I feel like both of you are very decisive. I also feel that both of you, there's a sense of excitement and there's a, there, I feel like both of you are going to be so charmed by one another. Okay, I'm, I'm going to say it. it's like you guys get lost in one another's eyes. I know that sounds so cliche, but that's what I'm seeing here. That's what I'm feeling here. Like you're going to get lost in one another's eyes. Uh, both of you may have um, brown eyes, maybe gold flecks in your eyes. I don't know, but I'm seeing a lot of brown. I'm, see I'm, I'm seeing this just darling energy here forward movement here this could be this is the person that you could be settling down with with this uh, ten of pentacles in reverse um, again I don't feel like this person is here yet I don't feel like the communication is there yet but you're charging towards them they're charging towards you maybe a little bit of both but I feel like this is the person that you truly settle with. You settle down with. And there's a ridiculous amount of potential here with the, the two of you. That I really, really like this energy for the two of you. But whether this is, you know, maybe you start off small and then you grow a little bit at a time. Perhaps... You know, this could be about travel. Both cards here can be about travel. Oh, even the, the king of wands can be about, you know, traveling. So we, we pretend potentially have three cards and we have wings here. So there could potentially be some sort of distance here between the two of you. But if there is anything. This is solid. This is very, very solid. My dear Taurus, they want one more card. Okay, one more card. One more card for Taurus. Okay. Yep. Knight in shining armor coming your way. Knight in shining armor coming your way. Ah. Wow. Wow, Taurus. Wow. All right. Gemini. Five of coins. Magic prayer. Wedding. Be playful. Okay. All right, Gemini. With this five of coins, I don't feel like you're left out in the cold because technically this person is inside because the trees, or if you look at the trees, the trees are actually outside. This, this person is inside. Okay. 
Actually, there's two people there. There's two people um, that are inside. You know, it's funny. I know that in all the five of coins, well, not all, but in most five of coins, there are two people. And I just now noticed that there's two here. Um, I always wondered why there's uh, was one, and I just noticed that there's two. You may have felt that you didn't need any sort of rescuing. You may have felt that you needed to work on some things and lift yourself up at or out of a situation before you were able to go towards something that is better for you because we have five of coins and 32, which is the number five, All right? So five and five, this is talking about a lot of changes here. There's a, and we also have 51 with the sandpiper, which is, although it's the number six adds up to some sort of balance, right? So I feel like a shift is happening here with this, with these energies and I do, this could be about a marriage that could be coming up way in the future, but I feel like this is more about a commitment towards being more playful, uh, towards not, no longer being in this kind of an energy, even if you feel like it's something that you have to work to get out yourself. And I feel like you've already done that, that work. I just feel like this is a much lighter energy. And I really like the fact that it falls underneath the magician. I do. I really, really like this. This may have been about a past relationship that you had to heal from. before you were able to commit truly to someone else. Not to say that maybe you didn't date, but even with those people that you dated, not that there was anything wrong with them, but you just weren't ready to truly commit. So maybe perhaps you had fun, but it wasn't something that really that you could, you were really into because you hadn't done any of, of the healing or perhaps you had done some of the healing, but not all of the healing. But now I feel like you're ready to go play. I feel like you are ready to go play and go do, go do more of the things that you had meant to do previously. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Showing up strong here with the emperor at the bottom of the deck. You may have started here with the five of coins, but you have the emperor energy here. Very, very strong energies here. I really like this. I felt I feel like you've learned a lot about yourself. You you've you're now you've shifted your focus onto something that you feel is going to be more worthwhile. I feel like a past situation has matured you far beyond your years. Um And even though you may not have healed in its entirety yet, I still feel that you have a true sense of who you are, very practical, 
very creative, like a very strong sense of values. I feel like you are incredibly focused for sure. And, and I find it very interesting that all of these are pentacles, but I'm not getting the sense that you are focused on money. I feel like Money is what you were focused on. Your financial stability is what you were focused on. I feel like now you're more focused on the heart space. So I find it very, very interesting here. And there's, I, I already feel like you're, you have a sense of who you are. I feel like you're very strong in who you are. I feel like you have your financial stability. I feel like the changes that are happening now are all within the self. I want, may I please have It just shuffled and they came out again. The Emperor. Uh, yeah. One more card, please, if you don't mind. Yeah. In a past situation, even though you showed up really calm or centered, I feel like it really weighed upon your soul. It's like it was depleting you of your actual energies, not finances, but your actual energies. And what you needed to do was to really set up a stronger boundary, a stronger sense of and boundaries is really the, the biggest word that I'm getting here. It, it, it's almost like you needed to protect your energies. You needed to really come out a little bit stronger in, in your, in your defenses, protecting your energies because Whatever past situation this was, was very depleting of your, of your energies, of your resources, that energy that really lifts you, that makes you more playful. I feel like that you weren't playful for a while. I feel like if, when you were, it was like, it was like an act almost. But now that you're in your heart space and you have a much stronger sense of, of boundaries and, you know, you're stronger in your energies, I feel like you are more playful. I feel like that is the change, the shift that's happening. You going more towards your heart space because you need to... Um, that, that's what you're focused on here is the heart space. I feel like that's what the transition is here. You focus on the heart space. You have your, you were focused on your financial stability, but I feel like that depleted your resources, your energies. And now you've shifted, you've changed gears and you started working more on your heart space. And I feel like that playful energy is actually going to raise your finances that much more. And I also feel like it's going to attract a love situation. All right. If you were in a marriage before, they may have depleted your energies. Okay. So take that how it resonates, my darling Gemini. I hope that was helpful to everyone. Remember that these are general readings. All right. So take only what resonates and check out your sun, moon, rising, um, signs as well. These, uh, mini readings are only, you know, 
a, a few minutes long. So take the time to look at all of your uh, other placements so that you're getting a full imagery, a full picture of what's actually going on in your life. All right, my darlings, until we meet again, have yourself an amazing day. Until we meet again, bye.